right now I am in an incredible space and I'm really feeling myself. I'm happy to be here right now with you and share myself with you. So welcome back to another Vibes and Frequencies video. My name is Nathan and if you're familiar with my YouTube channel and you're my subscriber, you're my friend, you're my family, you know what this video is. This is the third one in the series called A Video for My Friends and Family, which is not relevant to my other Vibes and Frequencies videos, but relevant to simply me, in a sense, vlogging how I'm doing my journey and what's been going on. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Did you see that I'm wearing socks with sandals? Yeah. I'm that guy. Hey, baby. <laughs> Got my number. Give me a call. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you how I'm doing, share with you some interesting things that have taken place in my life recently, and then I will play a song for you at the end that I have written. It's kind of my inaugural where I put my music on my YouTube channel. So, how am I doing? <laughs> I'm doing really well. Things are flowing, and even when they're not, I have given, when things are falling apart in life, permission to allow me to realize that where I am is here and that always makes me feel beautiful. <laughs> so I know that that sounds kind of strange, but on my journey, it has been, uh, well, about a month and a week now since I decided to leave the life that I had previously created and come out here and create the one that is in correlation to my dreams and my heart and my being. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's coming together. It's coming together. It really is. And a lot of that has been the universe providing me a lot of opportunities while on this journey to confront certain walls, certain kinds of traumas in my life so that I could fully release them. And a lot of that has been the ability to rewire my belief systems and realize who I am and, and what I'm really doing here, right? And it's all a choice. That's what I've come to. I'm here to choose. <laughs> and I like what I'm choosing lately. There's a lot of times in my life where I was living a life where I didn't like the decisions I was making, but I just kept making them anyways. <laughs> Pretty asinine, right? Yeah, I know. I was literally crazy. And what's funny is now that <laughs> I feel sane in, in my own kind of way, right? Like I have a certain kind of sanity grip on my insanity. Now everybody... Ow, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was really painful. Hold on, give me one moment. I'll be right back. Wow, that really wedged itself up into my shoe. I've stepped on a cactus, everybody. If you follow my videos, you know that this happens at least once every, like, 15 videos. You'd think I would stop. <laughs> okay. It actually was so powerful that it went up into my shoe and it's stuck into my foot. So we're going to go ahead and remove this while I continue the video. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah, so the universe has been providing me really powerful opportunities to confront certain things in my life. I'll go ahead and give you an example. I had a lot of trauma from an ex-girlfriend relationship where uh, I dated somebody for about four or five years and I was very committed, very passionate about that and I kind of allowed that to be what my entire life was about, right? I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and just do it after. <laughs> it's, it's really wedged up in there. Here, I'll show you. See the middle one right there? That is basically like a thickness of like a nail going up into my shoe. <laughs> so what's interesting is I thought that I had fully released that and moved on. And then I went to the grocery store when I was still in Sedona, which by the way, I'm in Tucson, Arizona right now. I went to the grocery store and I saw her there and I freaked out. I felt so much fear and anxiety. I literally turned around and I left the grocery store. And then I went out and literally hid behind a bush and stood there for like 25 minutes waiting for her to come out so I could like spy and watch her. <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyways, it turned out that it wasn't actually her. It was a girl that looked like her. And the fact that it triggered me so much made me realize that I had some unresolved business there. And then I proceeded to have like nightmares and dreams about her. So I called her. And here's the funny thing. She actually works at a crystal store. She's into all the same kind of stuff that I am and she's on a very similar path, which by the way, neither of us were into this stuff at all. And I would not expect that she's doing this, nor would she expect that I'm doing it either, right? So that was kind of cool. And it was a really powerful opportunity for me to release 
a lot of the tension and energy that I had been holding on to. And I, I kind of in my head created her to be this like evil person to help me feel better about the breakup. And it just wasn't true. I was carrying beliefs and energy that just were not in alignment with truth. And what's so powerful about my life right now is that I've realized that truth is literally everything. Just being totally truthful right now in this moment with who we are is the most powerful thing that we can do. And I fixed my shoe, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and then I'll keep moving so you guys can see the scenery. <laughs> These Nathan videos, am I right? You thought my vibes and frequencies videos were all over the place. Nathan videos are even worse <laughs> or better. Hmm. It's in the eye of the watcher, I suppose. Oh yeah, here we go. So, the universe has been providing me cool opportunities to do these kinds of things. For example, I was headed north, so I was like going up through Utah after Sedona. I was in the snow. My car got trapped in like the sand dunes and was literally like sunken into the sand. It was snowing, it was the middle of the night. Empty road. I decided, why am I going north? This is complete insanity. It's winter, it's snowing. I live in my car. I'm literally crazy to be driving north. <laughs> so I made the decision to turn around and come to Tucson. And I just had this feeling that I'm supposed to go see my grandparents. This is where they live. And as soon as I realized this and I decided, okay, I'm gonna turn around, this guy came, he was a real nice guy and he towed me out of the sand. Ow! <laughs> and I proceeded to drive to Tucson. Now, the reason that this is another opportunity for me to release some trauma is if you've ever heard Tony Robbins, he talks about how most of our life problems can all be summed up in coming from one thing. Which parent did you crave attention from the most when you were a child? There's a lot of buried stuff in there. I recommend you check out Tony Robbins. Really powerful transformational information he talks about. I didn't crave attention from either of my parents. I love my parents very much. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I craved attention the most from my grandpa. And uh, he's super awesome, and I'm not holding anything against him, of course. But I got a lot of my feelings of feeling like I need to be somebody, and like I need to try really hard, and like I have to have this awesome, glamorous life of fame and fortune and living on stage so that he would approve. Now, this is my own projection, by the way, from my own experience. This is not his actual words, by the way. I'm sure that he would not have chosen to have me feel this way, right? But that's what I picked up on. So now I'm here in Tucson, and I'm going to go see them, and uh, I'm going to express myself to him about that. <laughs> Not to make him feel bad, but if you've ever heard of Honoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponoponopon
And they were talking about it from a perspective of Christianity, Christ consciousness. But what was really powerful about it is I realized that he was using certain words and I was using certain words, but we were talking about the same thing and the same energy. And that has drastically transformed the way that I interact with people because true conversation happens through feeling and energy. When we say words to people, we're, we're just, <laughs> it doesn't really work very well. We can do our best. I'm lucky that I chose to be an articulate human so that I could, you know, make YouTube videos and try to get points and information across, but it was just really transformational for me. And I realized a lot of things in my conversation with him. So that was, that was a really powerful one for me. Now, let's see, what else could I tell you? Well, I still have no plans or expectations of my journey and where it's going. So I'm kind of just going with the flow. Um, I do have this dream in my heart though, that I'm going to purchase a cowboy hat, <laughs> like a really cool cowboy hat. And I'm gonna go to Texas and walk around in my cowboy boots and my cowboy hat up in the mountains and like ride a horse. <laughs> I know that that sounds funny, but you know what? Life is a movie and I'm the lead role in it. And I realized there's some, there's some fun things I wanna do and environments and energy I wanna put myself in. So I have a feeling I'm gonna do that. And that's going to be really cool. I'll also probably go skiing lately. And you, uh, uh, <laughs> I'll probably go skiing soon. And soon you will be seeing videos that I'm making while skiing. Because I'm pretty excited to do that. So this all being said, things are going well. My journey has not fallen apart. You know, It's been like a month and a week or two, like I said. And I'm liberated. The liberation is real. So as my friends that are watching this, I've got to tell you... If there's something you feel in your heart that you want to do, you should totally do it, <laughs> okay? You should totally do it. Because this is literally what I always wanted to do, but I was creating all these rules and beliefs. Like, I needed a certain amount of subscribers so I could have a certain amount of money. I needed to be able to have a van, right? I needed to be able to have this. I needed people who would go with me so I wouldn't be alone. <laughs> all these rules I was creating for this journey. And I just decided all those rules are bogus. The guy creating those is insane. I could do this right now. And it's proved to be true because I took the step and because of all you guys that support me and watch my videos or donating money, by the way, check out Patreon. I've got a lot of cool exclusive content on there. So if you really like me and my videos, I hope that you'll check that out and see maybe you feel like joining there. But all these things, that financial support that I was waiting for to come, I came and then the financial support comes, right? And all the abundance that's just around and is here once we make the decision to align with our heart and just be us, the universe is going to support you. <laughs> and you guys are the universe. And I thank you very much because this universe is totally awesome. And uh, I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> so thank you. Um, thank you, all of you. I, I would be doing this regardless, but it would likely be a mess. And it's not, so thank you. And this being said, I'm going to go ahead and play a song for I wrote, a song for you that I wrote this morning. I'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so like I said, I did just write this this morning. Ta-da! <laughs> it's rough. And uh, I'm, I'm sitting in my grandparents' bathroom right now because there's good reverb in here. Okay. Um... Bill sneeze coming on. Well, here we go. These crazy nights are keeping my heart high as the sky, which is below my feet cause I'm sitting on my mind I'm gonna keep going <laughs> even though I messed up I 
hear my thoughts are breaking And the sky beneath my feet is shaking And I don't even, I don't even, I don't even try But you, you've got so much to do But if you just let it be let it be for you Yeah, so it's not really done yet, um, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> Thanks for watching another Vibes and Frequencies video. My name is Nathan, and I do make videos every day. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. If you got time for me, it's cool. It's cool. Have a good one.